morning. Uh, I'm Tad Schechter, I'm the chief engineer uh, of the Corvette. I've uh, been working on Corvettes for 20 years and uh, never been prouder than uh, now bringing out uh, this new Stingray. ELSD has a huge, and you see a lot of manufacturers going to electronic uh, differentials. This has a huge impact on the way the vehicle uh, performs and behaves and the way it gives you confidence behind the wheel. Uh, it has a lot of authority on this car because we're actually rear weight biased. We've got very sticky tires and uh, so the difference between having an open differential and a locked differential has a huge impact on the way the vehicle handles. Uh, it's completely integrated in the other traction control systems and uh, there's a hierarchy. You know, the way a traditional uh, stability system works, if the car gets a little loose, you hit the outside brake that brings the car back into line, stabilizes the vehicle. The downside to that is it's slowing you down and hitting the brakes. The ELSD can stabilize the vehicle without slowing you down. So many times you avoid brake interventions and stability interventions simply by controlling the uh, ELSD. It's continuously variable. Uh, it's not like a step function or on and off. It's constantly uh, adjusting pressure on the clutch plates to optimize the way the vehicle's handling in a particular situation. So the bottom line is, uh, you know, people ask me, what are you most proud of on this car? It's not one thing. It's the fact that we've been able to increase the bandwidth of the car. It's uh, more powerful and yet more fuel efficient. Uh, the seats are more comfortable, get better lateral support. So Corvettes do a lot of things well, from daily driving to long distance touring to uh, track work. Uh, this car uh, does everything better. I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, talk about the powertrain. We've got the latest generation uh, small block V8, uh, 455 horsepower standard, 460 uh, when you get the performance exhaust. Uh, the amazing thing is that this engine actually feels stronger than uh, what the uh, actual power output indicates. And the reason for that is it has so much low end torque, uh, 50 foot pounds more low end torque than our previous standard engine. In fact, below 4,700 RPM, it has as much torque as the Z06, the seven liter engine. We're also offering cylinder deactivation um, for the first time uh, in a Corvette. So many times uh, on the street, the engine's operating as a 3.1 liter V4. It can produce up to 126 horsepower in that condition. Uh, the system operates up to 3,000 RPM. And uh, even because it takes so little uh, horsepower to push a Corvette down the road, only 12 horsepower at 50 miles an hour, uh, the system can be operational uh, many, many parts of your driving experience. And you can actually go up to 100 miles an hour uh, still in V4 mode. Engine also has very low out timing and uh, direct injection. Our performance numbers we've published previously, but just as a reminder, 3.8 seconds, uh, 0 to 60. That's for the manual or for the automatic. Uh, the quarter mile and 12 flat at 119 miles an hour. Uh, I talked about the brakes. Uh, we have fantastic uh, standard Brembo brakes uh, now. Um, and uh, the best tires uh, imaginable uh, for Michelin. Uh, the cornering, we're saying 1.03, but uh, some of the media have already tested it to 1.08. I think we, is Lee Willard here today? Uh, we have had Michelin here uh, and the engineer that does our uh, tires uh, for Michelin. It's the same engineer who does the C6, our racer, race tires, uh, does our street tires as well. So he takes the best lessons from the track, combines them with Michelin's best technology for the street, and uh, these new Pilot Super Sport tires are a real paradigm breaker. There's no other car in the world that'll corner at 1.03 or 1.08 Gs that has a 300 treadwear rating. These tires last a long time on the track and on the street. It's a real uh, breakthrough. Numbers are great, you know, individual performance numbers, but where it all comes together is on the track. And uh, that's really the synthesis of all the systems uh, working together. Uh, we've run the grand course at VIR in uh, under 252, and the thing, that's pretty fast, but the thing that we really focused on for this car is accessible performance. Yeah, we wanted to expand the envelope of performance, but we didn't want just a pro-level driver to be able to get there. We wanted uh, people, you know, good amateur drivers, uh, just people who are interested in driving, to be able to exercise the car and make maximum use of that performance envelope.